In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own brushes in Digital Scrapbook Artist 2. First, click on the Brushes tab, and if you're in your documents, just pull down this tab, and you can select any of these categories. Behind each category are many different brushes. I'm just going to select Embroidery. Now, before I create a brush, I'm going to show you how to use a brush. You can easily just pick any of these images here, click on the one that you want, and when you do, it says you've chosen your brush type. Now select the Brush tool. Go to the top of the screen and click on your brush, and now you can easily start drawing anywhere on your screen. It's instantly going to fill with whatever you've selected. If you want this to be a little bit thicker, you can click on the Line tab, and then all you need to do is move this over to the right-hand side. You'll see that your image gets thicker, or if you move this to the left-hand side, your image gets thinner. If at any time you want to color this, just click on the Color tab, send outline to the front, and you can color it any color that you like. Next, if you want to turn off your brush, all you need to do is click on Select, and then if you want to, you can move this anywhere you want. You can rotate it, you can mirror it, you can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to delete this. Now, if you have any of these images and you want to put them on your blank page, you can easily select any of these brushes over here without actually using the brush on top. So to give you an example, I'm going to go into Shapes and I'm going to select the Quick Heart and I'll just draw a heart on my page. I'm going to click on Select to turn off the Quick Shape. Now you do see an outline of my heart because I actually have the outline sent to the front and it's already colored. I'm going to send the color fill to the front. I'm going to color it red, maybe make it a little bit lighter in color. And now what I want to do is just click on the eyelets running. This time I did not click on the brush at the top of the screen. Now it's instantly applied to my heart, but it's a little hard to see. So I'm just going to go back to my line tab and I'm going to make this a lot thicker. As I make this thicker, you can see that it's actually on the edge of my heart. Now if you want this edging to go above your heart or inside your heart, you can easily use offset. Just go to the right hand side and pull down the tab and you can move it in either direction and as you do you're going to notice what happens on your page. You'll see that it either goes in or it goes out. Once you're happy you can leave it as it is or if you want to set this back to zero just highlight it, press zero on your keyboard and press the enter button and you're right back to where you were. I'm just going to set this to the side for now and what I'm going to do is take an image here from my uh, DigiKit and this is actually from Citrus Delight and I'm going to take this other butterfly which is also from that kit and I'm just going to place it on top. Now that I've got this, all I want to do is draw an imaginary box around it and go to the top of the screen, click on File, and then click on Export. I'm going to export this as an image. Make sure that transparency is selected and you do want this area behind your image to be transparent. If it's not, you need to send it through Cutout Studio, make the background go away, and then click on Export. Now you just need to name your file and I'm going to call mine A. I'll click on Save and now I can delete this. So now I'm going to drag my heart back over here and this time what I'm going to do is create my own brush. So to do that I'm going to pull this tab and I'm going to go back to Global and I actually want to create my own category. So I'm just going to right click beside Global and I'll click on Add and with my new category I'm just going to call it ABC and click on OK. Now if I go back up here you can see under Global my brand new category is here and this is where I can now start adding my brushes. So I'll click on it once to select it. Now all I need to do is right click. So I'm going to click on Add. This time I'm going to go over here and click on Browse for a different texture. Just find an image that you want to use and I'll use the butterfly a little bit later. But right now I'm just going to select this image here and I'm going to click on Open. You can see that the image is now right here and the name of your brush will automatically be whatever name your image is called. If you don't like the name, just highlight it and change it because that will be your new brush's name. Now over here you have a couple of things that you can do. You can pull down this tab and you can try out all the different ways to make your brush look. 
look. First I'm going to click on None and Stretch and I'm going to click on OK. And this is my new brush. Now my heart is still selected so I'm just going to click on my new brush and you can see what that now looks like. I can easily move this over here and make it thinner or thicker. If at any time I don't like the way that my brush looks, I can right click on it and click on Edit. Now all I need to do is just pull down this tab and just change it. I'm going to select Simple. I'll click on OK and now I've got this brand new feature of my brush. Again I can make this thicker or smaller and then there is my brand new brush. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to add a spray brush. To do that you just right click anywhere and then you click on Add Spray. With adding a spray brush, you have it a little bit different. You need to click on this section right here where it says click to add a spray nozzle. Click on it once and now I'm going to select the new image I just created. Once you select it, click on Open. Now over here is a preview of what your brush will look like. If you don't like the preview, you can easily go to your spacing and you can move this around so that the spacing is a little bit more spaced out. If you want to, you can also add yourself another spray nozzle using a different image. Now all I'm going to do is click on Open and again the preview if you're not too happy with it you can go over here and you can select beside Texture Selection Controller a different setting. So I'm going to try Increasing and there you can see what this now looks like. Now another thing I can do is go back to my spacing and just space it out a little bit more so that I can see the images better. Then I'm going to either click on OK or go up here and name my brush. I'm actually going to just leave it as A but I'll click on OK. This is now my brand new brush, my spray brush actually. If I click on that you can see what my new image looks like and again I can make this thicker or I can thin it out a bit. If you want to adjust it, all you need to do is right click, click on edit, and this time you might want to play with some of these other features. Over here is rotation variance. If you pull this down and then start moving around, you'll see that the butterflies turn into different directions. Over here is size jitter. If you pull this down, you can start making the size on certain parts of your image thicker or thinner. Over here you have the vertical jitter, and if you use this, you can sort of stretch this out in different directions. You also have a controller beside all of these features. And if you wanted to try out your controller, then all you do is you select your feature first, which is the rotation variance, and then you go over here to your controller. And I'm just going to change this to pressure, and you can see that that sort of changes. Once you're happy with it, you just click on OK, and now you can see what your new brush looks like. That's pretty much all there is to creating a brush. If at any time you don't want your brush anymore, you can easily right-click on it, and then click on Delete and it's now gone. If you don't want your category anymore, just right click on your category and click on Delete. And now that category is gone. So when I go over here, you no longer see the ABC category. If you want to create your own brushes that you want to just save, then just leave them over here after you've created them. When you shut down Digital Scrapbook Artist 2 and then reopen it, the brushes that you made are going to stay here. If you want to save them to a DigiKit, then you need to go to your DigiKit Creator, click on your Brushes tab, and then click on Create. Then obviously you create your brush or your spray brush, you name it, and once they're all created, you just click on Save DigiKit. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.